everybody, Mike Brown back with you once again with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We're talking retouching, one of the more important and one of my four basic categories. Remember, selections, corrections, retouch and manipulation. Retouching is fixing all of those blemishes, replacing areas, making things clean and looking just perfect. But the key in retouching, as with everything we're doing here in Photoshop Elements, is flawless blending in every case. Now, we dealt with that with selections and blending corrections through a selected area. Here, we're dealing with small areas, and especially we're dealing with people. We're dealing with skin, faces, eyes, lips, close-ups, where any mistake you make that doesn't blend perfectly will stare out glaringly and everybody will go, oh yeah, I don't know what she really looked like. That was photoshopped. So in the next three lessons, this one and the following two, we're going to talk about retouching what is the most popular photographic subject there is, people. So let's get started. In Retouching People Part 1, I'm going to show you the basic techniques for retouching skin and how to retouch eyes, teeth, and lips. So let's get started right off the bat here. Here's the lady you saw in the last example, Debbie. We're going to use her in this and the next couple of lessons. Now, Debbie's a good-looking woman. She's in great shape, but she's over 40, no question about it, and we'd like to See about retouching her image. Now, one of the key features when you're retouching someone who's middle-aged or even older is you don't want to take 25 years off because it will look totally phony. Even if you do a flawless job, the result, anyone who knows this person knows maybe she's 50 and she looks 25, that that's totally phony. So even though you did a perfect job, it's still a giveaway. So the idea here is to make the retouching enough to improve the image and make the person younger, but maintain the integrity of the original photograph. So let's get started and take a look at what needs to be done. So we'll look at this image. And the skin on her chest is a little bit age modeled. You've got kind of texturization. We have some flaws in the skin, moles or various and sundry discolorations. We've got some lines under the neck that need to be dealt with, a little sagging right in the area right underneath the chin here. We've got a little change in her face with age. We have a little sunken area around the chin and it's out a little bit in the uh, the jawline. Let's look closer. Again, we have some lines in the face. We've got a lot of lines around the eyes. We've got forehead, uh, the little puckers in the forehead, and again lines around here. The eyes need to be whitened up. The lips, her lips seem to have been They've spread just a little bit down at the bottom. Maybe she had a little Botox and it flattened in there, but the shape is a little kind of funny. We'd like to alter that a little bit. She's got a slight overhang on the tooth. All of these details we can attack in very short order. So in this lesson, what we're going to be dealing with here primarily are eyes, teeth, lips, and the basic skin retouch. So let's start off right off the bat by duplicating our background layer, as we always do. You can do it from the drop-down layer menu. You can do it from the layer menu itself, or as always, the shortcut command on a Mac, control on a PC, plus the letter J, and we have a duplicated layer. Now, one of the things that I want to mention here, these just a little subtle tricks. In the landscapes that I used for examples for exposure and color and all the way up to this point, we always start off by sharpening the image. Now, one of the things that you must be very careful of, in, unless your photograph is out of focus, basically you don't want to sharpen it with a person. In this case, you see the focus is good. You see that it's not 100% crisp. I mean, it's just, it's good, but not perfectly sharp. If we sharpen the image, what's going to happen, the pores will become prominent. I'll show you that just very quickly. We'll duplicate the layer, set the blend mode for the high pass filter at overlay, go to filter, 
other high pass. And again, we're just looking for edges. And you can see already that you can see, let me zoom this up enough you can see it. You're seeing the pores in the skin, which means they're going to be accentuated. And look at that. If I turn it off, you see they're softened. If I turn it on, although the eyes here are getting crisper, all of the pores and the little hairs in the skin are becoming really prominent. And we really don't want that. We want to soften it, not sharpen it. So there's a reason that if the image is fairly crisp, you don't want to do unless it's absolutely necessary, any sharpening on a portrait. So we're going to take that layer and trash it by grabbing it and dragging it up to the trash can, and it's gone, and we're back to our original image.